I know I'm a little bit late to the party with this one, but I still wanted to do 10 movies that I'm looking forward to coming out this year. Hey everyone, my name's Austin, and this is my dog. Hey everyone, my name's Austin, and if you're looking to dig deeper and go further to better understand movies, TV shows, their characters, and their stories, you are in the right place. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet for new videos every Friday. Today we're talking about 10 movies that I'm looking forward to coming out this year, 2019. This won't really be in any particular order, I'm just going to go through it chronologically, but based on how I talk about a couple of them, you'll definitely tell which ones are higher up on my list. First, coming out, which I think by the time this video is up is today, is Glass. I told you in my last video that I'm going to be doing a collab video with one of my friends. Really excited to see this movie, I cannot wait. Uh, I haven't been a huge fan of the Unbreakable and Split movies for that long, but the time that I have been, I've loved them. Uh, I can't wait to see kind of how Shyamalan ties things together. Really got my fingers crossed that he's not going to mess it up. I don't think he will because he has a really good understanding of these. I cannot wait to talk to you guys about this with my friend, so look forward to that video coming soon. Next is How to Train Your Dragon 3. I've really enjoyed these movies. The first two I really liked. I haven't seen them for a while, but I remember them being some of the children family movies that I really enjoy personally. They do with some really cool stuff and they're really interesting. I'm really excited to see how they wrap things up. I haven't watched the Netflix show, so I don't know kind of how they're going to tie all that stuff together, if they'll include it or whatnot, but I'm really excited to see this trilogy wrapped up and I hope it goes well. Next is the Lego movie, The Second Part. I really love the first Lego movie. I thought Phil Lord, Chris Miller were excellent choices to direct and kind of head this whole thing. They're not back to direct this one, they are producers on it I believe, but I'm really excited to see what direction they take for all of this. I haven't seen all of the Lego movies, I saw the Batman one, really did not like that one, which I was surprised about because lots of people love that, but I didn't like it. But I am very excited to see where Emmett and everyone takes us on the second part. Next we have Captain Marvel. I'm really excited to see them bring their first female lead into this one. I think it's going to be really cool for the franchise to uh, just bring someone with a new powerhouse of powers into this universe. Marvel makes great movies and I just can't wait to see kind of how they add this new character into the MCU. Next, the big one, Avengers Endgame. Everyone who sat in their seats at the end of Avengers Infinity War did not realize how much more we needed Endgame than we needed Infinity War. We were not prepared for that ending and I am stoked to see how they wrap things up and I really do not know where the Avengers are going to go from here on out and I think that's really exciting. Next, even with a movies like Avengers coming out this year, John Wick 3 is probably my most hyped movie for this year. I love the John Wick movies. I can watch those movies every day and not get tired of them. I've seen each one multiple times. Keanu Reeves is incredible in the character. I think it was written for him. And I am ecstatic to see how they wrap up the trilogy. I'm even curious to see what they do with the spin-off TV show that they're working on. I cannot express enough how excited I am for John Wick 3. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. I want a trailer for John Wick 3 more than I want a trailer for Star Wars right now. Next we got New Mutants. This was actually supposed to come out in 2018, but they delayed it to 2019. It's going to be almost like a darker take on the X-Men, and I'm really curious about that. And it's almost like a borderline horror spin that they're doing with it. And I'm really looking forward to how that comes out. I really don't know much about the movie. There's the one trailer, so I know what that trailer showed. I love that it has Jonathan from Stranger Things in it. Stranger Things is one of my favorite shows, so I'm excited to see him branching out and doing different things. And really curious to see what they do with New Mutants. Next, we have Joker with Joaquin Phoenix. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Uh, I really love him as an actor. I think he's a good choice for this. Really, this movie could be a hit or miss. We know next to nothing about it, but I definitely have faith in the people that are behind it. And I think the result is going to be good. I really do. There's not much more I can say about it because I really don't know a lot about this movie, but I'm very excited for it. Next, Zombieland 2. I was hoping for a long time that we'd get another Zombie Land movie. I love the first one. <laughs> I lost my train of thought. Someone knocked at the door. Uh, Zombie Land 2. I'm so excited to see these characters come back. I adore the first movie. It's one of my favorite horror action comedies. 
Um, I'm really excited to bring back the original cast and I can't wait to see what they come up with for that. Last and most certainly not least, another one that's very high up on my list for this year, Star Wars Episode Nine. We don't have a title for this one yet and this could go anywhere, I don't know. I think J.J. Abrams was a good choice to bring back for this one. Um, I really like The Force Awakens. A lot of people have mixed views on that one today, but I think he did a really good job. I really enjoyed The Last Jedi. That one I know is very controversial. I'm not really going to touch that, but I enjoyed it uh, for what it was. But I'm really excited to see how they wrap this up because this is, we thought back in the day that The Return of the Jedi was the kind of finality of the Skywalker saga. But turns out we got three more movies and I'm really curious to see how they wrap up this story. Uh, there's a lot of loose ends to tie up and a lot of character arcs to complete. Um, as far as characters go, I love Rey, I love Finn. Kylo Ren is one of the best villains we've seen in years, I think. Lots of people pick on him, but he's one of the most complex villains that I think we've seen in a franchise for a while. And I'm really interested to see where his character arc goes. So that's it. Ten movies that I'm looking forward to this year. I think it's going to be a great year for movies. Lots of sequels out there. As always, thank you for watching, and if you're interested in Faith Film and everything in between, you're in the right place, and I got new videos coming up every Friday, so stick around, subscribe. If you want to see another recent video of mine, check it out right here. I'll see you in the next one.